Good, 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 good. Okay, uh, no, wrong way. Uh, uh, let's do this now. So, um, let's, let's start at the beginning of uh, 12.6, just to remind ourselves what we are. And it might be worth having uh, the sheet of, that sheet of paper with you at this point. So, um, this opens up with the idea that the word toledot in the phrase Ele toledot shemaim ba'aretz is written male. It's written with a vav in it. Um, um, well, it's written with two vavs in it, but the first vav is a rarity. So usually when the word toledot appears in the Torah, it's written taf lamid dalid vav taf. Mm. But here, radically, it's written taf vav lamid dalid vav taf. So just the opening of 12.6, um, it goes, Amar Rabbi Shmuel Bar Nachman, Kol toledot shne'emru b'Torah chaseri. All the toledots in the Torah are, it's called Ketiv Chaser, are written without that first vav. No, without the second one. Without the, the sorry, without, sorry, without the second, sorry, without the second vav. Um, bar min train, apart from these two. Which two? The one on Vele Toledot Shemayim Ba'aretz, which is our lectionary verse, our verse from the opening of this passage. And also, this verse in Ruth, Vele Toledot Peretz. What's going on at that point in Ruth? The genealogy of King David. Good, right? The genealogy of King David, which is, of course, a nod to sort of messianic mm. stuff, which I will refer to here as happily ever after stuff. So, um, it then says... You know, and why are they written without this vav? You see where we are, mm -hmm. uh, Gerald? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're, we're at the beginning, we're on uh, the beginning of 12.6. 12.5. Okay, good, right, thank you. Um... Right, so why are they written without this vav? Rabbi, so the other ones. Or, yeah, where are the other words? ones written without this vav? Right, Rabbi Yudam B'Shen Rabbi Avin Amar Keneged Shisha Devarim Shnit Lume Adam Harishon Because of six things on the Tilat Yadayim which were taken up and away from Adam Harishon after, after, after the kind of the, the primordial sin. Ve'eluhen, and I've just popped those down on your little piece of paper because we will need to keep track of them later. Zivav, Chayav, Komato, Priha Aretz, Priha Ilan, Um Orot. So um, the, the luster um, of, of, of Adam and Rishon, we'll see some stuff about this later, that the, the first human being before the sin sort of seemed to have this sort of kind of glow mm -hmm. to them. Their um, eternality, right, well, no, I mean, that's the obvious one, right, in the day that you take from the tree, Mot you Mut. Um, komato, there is this sense that the first Adam was very tall, right, sort of stretched high. Um, Priha eats Priha Ilan, the fruit of the tree and the fruit of the tree, um, and then the Mo'orot. Um, they've obviously they've got to add up to six, so that's why you get Priha Ilan and Priha. Why uh, do they have to add up to six? Because it's the vav. Oh. It's the, 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 oh, the, 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 the vav. <laughs> <laughs> Wake up in the back. <laughs> um, okay, so we spent a bit of time looking at the biblical proofs that Adam and Rishon lost, or that the universe lost those. Those right, six things. Mm -hmm. um, uh, yes, I wasn't here last time. Right, 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 right. Uh, so let's let's pick it up um, on the following page. I mean, should we should we go through it? Should we? Yeah, yeah should, it would be useful. I yeah, it, it, I mean, uh, you, you you can trust me, but um, no, and, and if you've got if you've got the handout from last <laughs> time, uh, you'll need the handout from last time. But um, uh, Lester, do you want to want to want to pick this up? I haven't I haven't got the handout, but I, 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 I'm pretty sure I can. I'll be fine. Um, Where are you picking it up? Let's mm -hmm. pick it up from. So, can you see where it says Zivo? Zivo. Yeah, so I mean, it's nine lustrous. Shema, just before the E of the <clears throat> Dalit line, yeah? Zivo, his lustre, Minayan. Mm -hmm. Where do we know that he lost his lustre? Come in, come in! And the quote from Job, Mishanepano Vatishalachet. Um. They, so God changed his face and... Threw him out. Right. Where did God throw him out from? God. Right. In other words, that with the sin comes the changing of the face. It's a tick. That's the first one. Okay. Shayav Minayin. This was... Uh, how do we know that he lost his... his 
everlasting life, I mm-hmm, suppose. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Ki afar ata. Ah. And it says that you will, you're only made of dust. Right. Oh, to dust you <clears> will <throat> go. To, to <throat> dust you will return. I mean, so it's actually it's a promise of mortality. Mm. And, right, rather than the threat of mortality, so before, don't take from the tree because much you must. But now that you've actually committed the sin, you're going to the dust. You have lost your, your eternality. From where do we know that he wasn't so uh, tall afterwards? When God looks after them and they, and they realize they're naked, it's usually translated that they were ashamed. Or, uh, But obviously he was sort of humbled or humiliated. They hid themselves. Yeah. But sorry, it's, it, it, it's not that they were ashamed. It's not that word. It, it's not that verse. It's the oh. verse where they, they hide. I mean, it's, right. you know, oh. I mean, they, you know, the, the God, uh, where are we? Here. Okay. <laughs> so what if he was so tall he couldn't have hit Yes! <laughs> <laughs> right? Genesis 3, 8, where are we? Um, yeah, it's, I mean, it's a good, it's not a bad shot as these things go. They heard the sound of God moving about the garden. Place the, they hide, that's all. Yeah. Right, they, you know, they, they heard the sound of God moving about in the garden the breezy time of day, and man and his wife hid from the Lord among mm. the trees of the garden. They were capable of hiding behind a tree. Because they had lost or, their huge height. Because they lost their huge height. Um, um, Rabbi Abahu ba'uta sha'a gaz'a komato shel adam harishon v'nasit shel mea ama. On that very same day, uh, they lost their height and became a mere a mere hundred amot. A mere hundred cubits, right? You know, so they, 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 that was to say that they were they were even taller. We are at the hundred very... cubits is pretty high. It's very high. It's, it's very high. It's, it's 100, 150 feet, roughly. Yeah. So the trees that they hid yeah. under, they must have been even higher. Well, it was, the garden, it was the Garden of Eden, right? Yeah. I mean, you know, you got you got to imagine that God was a decent gardener, maybe even actually both of you. Yeah. Uh, you know. <laughs> um, uh, okay. Priha Elon or Priha H, the yeah. two fruits of the trees, and uh, Priha Aretz, mm-hmm. Minaya, how do we know that those lot left for him? It is both of them. Sorry, no, it's Priha Ilan. Ooh, Priha yeah. Aretz. Yeah. Both of them. Yep, yep. Shinema Aruraha Adama Me Aburecha. So it says the earth will be cursed for your having to. Um, because of you. Baburecha. Because of your sin. Because you, you did an Avera. Right. So why is, he, why is he lumping the two together? Just to make the six? Yes. So I guess it's fruit and vegetables, maybe. Well, sort of, but Priha Ilan and Priha Aits. Priha Ilan. Yeah, is fruit, fruit, fruit of the tree, and the other is fruit of the earth. No, that's Priha Adama. Yeah, so Priha Ilan is fruit of the tree. All right, and Priha Aits. Priha Aits is fruit of the Priha Aits. Where's the Priha Aits? No, Priha Aits. Oh, Priha Aits. Oh, that's fine. That's fine. So I'm fruit sorry, fruit sorry. Fruit and vegetables. Yeah, yeah, it's fruit and vegetables. I'm so sorry. <laughs> yes, 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 it's fine. It's, it's not as ridiculous as I thought it was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good, good, good. Mm. And Ma'or Rot and the lights. Uh, Rabbi Shimon, Rabbi Yehuda, Ish Kfar Akko. So, uh, Rabbi Shimon and Rabbi come in, come in. Yehuda from Kfar Akko, Amar. Come in, come in. Hi, have you started yet? Yeah, yeah. Oh, sorry, okay. I wasn't uh, Mish- Rabbi Meir. Af al pi shabbat, lo kalu admots e shabbat. Even though... Hi, Brian. We have already learned that the um, the light was taken away. Well, it was cursed. Yeah, yeah. Right. right? Even though we know that it was cursed on... Erev Shabbat. Right. Lolaku ad Motse Shabbat. So they weren't, well... The it wasn't was taken until Motse mm. Shabbat, right? So the God said on Friday afternoon... That's it, you've had it. You've had it, but... God didn't actually diminish the light until Saturday night. All right. Yeah. Well, let's. Uh, I think we've 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 had that before, right? We've 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 yeah. we've, we've, we've we done that, that bit before. That before. And and uh, eat a karabanan, right? And 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 that's exactly what the rabbis uh, said about about this whole business. Below at your Yossi. But Rabbi Yossi didn't think this is the way it is. Don't worry, Rabbi Yossi, Adam Harishan, Lo Lan Kvodo Imo. Um, his uh, couple didn't rest with him? Yep. I don't understand what that means. Yeah, he didn't stay overnight. 
with honor, right? So Adam was was ah, created so, on on Friday morning. So on, he and had by, a bad Shabbat. And but he had a bad Shabbat. Correct, correct, right? You know, he he was created on Friday morning with Ziv and Chayav and and long life and luster and all this great stuff. He didn't even make it through to Shabbos with Kavod. Right. So this is a difference of opinion. The other one said that, it, despite his sin, he was retained in good. Favor until after Shabbat. Right, or that God didn't God didn't turn the lights right. off until after Shabbos. Okay, my timer. How does he know this? In the verse from Tehillim, Adam Bikar Bal Yalim. Adam Shalka Bahi Mat Nidmo. Right, that's uh, uh, that uh, Adam. Uh, sorry, I mean, this is this is this is uh, a funeral psalm uh, and a uh, shiva a shiva service psalm. Um, Adam in honor didn't stay overnight. Uh, so it's not a bad proof text. Mm-hmm. So so now, right? So, so, so now you've got to that, go back to the rabbis and see what. How yes, they so, so how the rabbis? How do the rabbis know that that it was bright all the way through? So kavod here is going to be bright. I mean, that, you know that, that it it stayed bright for the for the rabbis uh, through the night. I mean, this is where we this is where we got to uh, through the night leading up to Shabbat. No, Friday night. Yes, Friday night, which is Shabbat. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, uh, you, you have to, you have to think with the, uh, uh, with your, with your uh, rabbinic time frame hat on. Right. Rabbanan Amr de Motzei Shabbat Yital Zilo. So his his uh, light and luster didn't leave him until after Shabbat. Good, good. By the way, does anyone know? I mean, well, the, the 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 famous midrash from this. Is actually much later. It's only in Pirkevot, but this is a sort of an early, an early uh, presaging of that. That um, so Adam was 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 clothed in some kind of exoskeleton, some sort of lustrous exoskeleton, and um, on Motzei Shabbat it all went apart from one little piece of lustrous exoskeleton, which we look at on Motzei Shabbat. Did I? Yeah. So the, the origin of the fingernails, the, the, that oh, thing of okay, looking, yeah. you know, the, the, you, you allow the reflection of the candle mm-hmm. into your fingernails is to remind you of what you had before Shabbat. So that's the, uh, that's the, uh, that's the Midrash on, um, on that. Mm-hmm. So I don't know how this proves anything. Uh, keep going. Ah, so he changed, as this is what we had before, he changed his face. Right, he, and sent him away. Those two things happen at the same time. Ah, so that shows that he did manage when he to sent retain him. his cover over Shabbat. Right, right. No, the, the, the changing of the face. And the exiling happened at the same time. How do we know that that didn't happen on Shabbos? How do we know that that was delayed until after Shabbos? It's how do we know that Moses wore a strimal level question. <laughs> how do we know that God didn't kick Adam and Eve out of the Garden of Eden on Shabbos? It's against Shabbos to walk away. Get left out for lunch. <laughs> All right. Yes, because <clears throat> this could prove there was an error. Of and there was an error. The gun I done was an error, right? <laughs> okay. Do you want me to carry on? Yeah, uh, I mean, I, I, I mean, does anybody else want to read? I, I can read a bit. You can read a bit. You, 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 all, you all right? Oh. Yeah, yeah, whichever way. Go for it. Okay, Omar Rabbi Huda Bar Simon, Otaha Orash and Nivraba Olam, Adam Harishan Amad Vehibit Ba. So far, along we are so far. So the um, the light which was uh, for Nivra Baha Olam, I guess the initial light of the of good, the good, good, good. Right. So, so what we've got is we've got two kinds of lights. I mean, there's that, there's this light, but then there is some previous higher, better, more important, more beautiful, more powerful light which existed before the sin. Mm-hmm. So the the, the, the the light before the sin, or well, now we're getting before the kind of kicking out of the garden, mm-hmm. Adam could could look from one end of the world to the other end of the world by this light. Yeah. So he could see from one end of the world to the other. Kevan Sharaha Kadosh Baruch Hu Maser 
Kevan Shoak. Maybe that's where it's like Kevan Shoak Kadosh Baruch Hu. Kigain. When God saw three things, He saw. Masse Dor Enosh. Yep. That's the big. Masse Dor Hamabul. Yep. Masse Dor Haplaga. Shehem Bakulalin. So He saw these three. The the door. The generation of Enosh. I don't remember what he did. Right, so Enosh, I mean, so, so the other two, the other two reasons. So, so, so when he saw these three bad things happening, let's just finish, I mean, right, right, he gets up and he hides away some of this kind of pre, yeah. primordial light. So let's just, let's just slow this down a second. So we've got Dor Enosh, Dor HaMabul and Dor HaFlaga. Dor HaMabul is... Of the time of Noah. Of the time of Noah, they were doing mm-hmm. badly. Dor HaFlaga is... Generation of the dispersion. What's that? It's Babel. It's Babel. It's the Tower of Babel. Good. So Dorinosh, it's this very strange thing where these kind of giants come down mm-hmm. and they start having intercourse with yeah. women. And it's a little rather strange. Um, but it, the it, Christians call the fallen angels. Yeah. I, I mean, I have to say, I've, I've always been very... It's a very strange Why does it come? Why does it, where is it? Right at the end of Bereshit. It, yeah, no, not... I mean, right... I mean, it, 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 before the... Before, uh, sorry, the, the uh, Pasha Bereshit. Pasha, yeah, before, yeah, not the, safe before the flood. Yeah, before, before the, flood. the flood. Before the flood. Um, we'll, you know, we'll get there and we'll see it in the text. It is it is rather odd um, and, and, and prompts all kinds of mystical kind of stuff, but... But bad people doing bad things, right, is the point. So when... So in this, in this early light, uh, Adam saw everything but it's god who sort of seems suddenly to sort of see into the future oh says god right oh this bad stuff is going to happen so he gets up and he says a quotation again from job so and right so he gets up and he hides he away hides the, light. the light how do we know that god hides <clears throat> away the light i've given you this verse from job uh right he takes away their light. He takes away the light of wicked people. That's what God does, right? Mm. So how do we know that we? How do we know that God took that away? It's, it's, it says. It says. The light from them, or his own light. His own light. God. I mean, God's, so there was some. His own light. Yeah. yeah, there was some kind of previous light. I mean, I guess, mm. I quite like this sort of thinking. Mm. That, that, that why do we need to imprison God in the laws of physics? If God made the laws of physics, then, you know, maybe God made a light that was so bright that you could see anything. You could see through walls. You could see, you know, like, you know, you could see, you know, you see the, the, the total. Right. right. You could, yeah, you could see the, the totality of the, uh, the, yeah. the, uh, of the spectrum. You don't have to be just. Well, it's just it's this linked with the Kabbalah idea of, of, you know, withdrawing the light, what they call it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. This light. is absolutely that. This is absolutely yeah. that. The, the pre, the primordial. Ah, sorry. Almost, I guess this is a sort of. A, I'm not aware of this being discussed in Lurianic Kabbalah. So you know, the original Lurianic idea is that in the beginning was Ain Sof, and it was so full of light that God created this. But why em- does God need light in the first place? Well, it, well I guess I guess it's not light the way that you or I no. might think of being light. There, there was oh, a to- yeah. like uh, there was a totality of energy, which God mm. kind of had to remove in order to create affinity of energy. Um, but uh, Right. What we so there's then so there's there's that light. There's the light that you and I see by, and then there's some kind of an intermediary step of a kind of a light that allowed you to see from one end of the world to the other. I'm I'm not I, I'm not aware of any good Kabbalistic stuff on that light. Okay, Velama Genazo. Why did he just hide it? Surely he could have got rid of it altogether. Ella Genazo la tzadikim la lavo. Because he knows that there will be righteous people coming later on who will presumably be able to share some aspect of that. Right, right, myth. right. So let me let me just spoil <clears throat> the end of the Midrash for you. It's all going to work out okay. Right? These six <laughs> things that were that were lessened, um, by the time we get back to the end of the story, they'll all come back. Um, so what w- what this is really a Midrash about is is the sort of the journey from of, of, of creation and its brokenness into redemption and its fulfillment of uh, and, 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 and tikkun and mm. healing and, and uh, shleimut mm. filling out of, 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 of these kinds of promises mm. so um, we, we sort of see that here a little right that God took the light held it in abeyance but it's going to come back mm. 
sounds a bit Christian to me, but you know. Yeah. I mean, it is interesting, right? I mean, you know, in Jewish. Res- you know, resurrection Ju- is. Well, perhaps the Christians are being Jewish. Well, perhaps. Well, the by Christians the way, by the way, there's no Christians studying well, Jewish. Well, well, there's know. no. I mean, there's no. There's yeah. no suggestion that redemption requires theology, right? There's no suggestion that that redemption requires somebody who is a embodiment of divinity mm. on earth. Who takes away all the sins of the people? There's none. You know, none. Of, I don't. I don't see where you get any of that. Instead, in, <clears> instead, <throat> there's just a sense that you know, when people behave badly, it goes bad, and when people behave well, then it goes. The world gets better. You know, in other words, the the redemptive narrative is a very Jewish redemptive narrative, mm. which is the world will be redeemed when we are capable of redeeming the world. Mm. You know, uh, uh, yeah, where's the light coming in there? Where's, so where does the yeah, light and then and then you know, in a redeemed world, God goes fine. You've, you've done well. Here, have your light back. <laughs> Because it says, Bayar Elohim et or ki tov, ain tov el tzadikim. When, when it said, and God saw the light that it was good, and whenever it says tov, it means righteous people. Yes. Shenayamah, and is a verse from Isaiah, imru tzadik ki tov. Ah, <laughs> this is a sort of a gezerah shava, right? The, 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 they're just using the same word in one place to another place to another place. So that God saw the light and it was good. We know that, right? Imru Sadiq Kitov. Right? So the, 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 the Sadiq is also true. good, the which means therefore, tov. which means Sadiq <laughs> means Tov. Of course, one of the strange things about the, well, not strange things, one of the, um, the things about uh, the story of creation is that how many things get called good in the, uh, in the creation? Everything apart from day three, right? God saw this and it was good. God saw that and it was good. God saw this and it was good. So if you know, it's a shabba, it's very partial. Lots and lots of things are good. You know, you therefore end up light <clears throat> equals fish. You know, light equals fish. Or you know, mind you, uh, Einstein would not be unhappy with that, I guess, right? <laughs> but but here we have imrud sadik kitov, a very early him eta or kitov. So kitov it means or means sadik. and how do we know that he hid it? For the uh, presumably the future generations of tzaddikim, shenam ba'or tzaddikim ka'or noga. Ah, that's a proper proof text, right. right? That the light of the wise is like the hidden light, or it is the hidden light. So that there is this sort of hidden light that's been put away for the tzaddikim, like tidlavo, in the future to come. Hmm. When you're an early Christian art, you get a lot of light, don't you? And mm. there's a uh, the, uh, they always have a, a halo, a halo yeah. around there. And also, you know, the Sistine Chapel, isn't it, when they kind of meet each other? Uh, there's no light coming out of... Uh, yeah, but all the had saints a, had halos you know, around them. In, in yeah. yeah. Got I mean, you know, the, the, the idea of the righteous being, <clears throat> you know, being bathed in light. But that's their, that's their own light. That's not, uh, mm. yeah, that's not what the God's well, it's light. It's got to come from somewhere. Yeah. And, of course, Moses... The Christian's idea of light is quite different. The halo is quite, is quite different from ours. Because mm-hmm. ours said uh, this one of the verses in the Torah or the Tanakh uh, says, Your word is a light unto my path. And God spoke to them, so that was light. So, but the Christian, the, in terms of the Christian's light, they say Jesus is their light. Yeah, I, d- I don't know enough about Christian iconography. Yeah. But, you know, there's certainly, you know, a lot of those kinds of ideas, they're coming out of places like Isaiah and Jeremiah and Ezekiel. Mm. You know, they're not, I mean, they might be reading it in a different way, but they're, but they're, their source texts are going to be, are going to be exactly the same. Uh, right, so we've made, we've, we've done a, we've done a first Gezerah shovel between Or and Sadiq, and we get another one that's coming now. Um, and when God saw that the, he was able to hide away the light for the future um, tzadikim, uh, he was happy. So Or this is also in Mishlei Or tzadikim mismach. The light of the righteous will cause happiness. Good. Okay. Shall I, shall I do that? More. Rabbi Levi Bashem <coughs> Rabbi Nazira Amar Shloshim Vesheshaot Shimsha Otoha Ora. So this this first light 
it, uh, so Rabbi Levi, in the name of Rabbi Nazira, said, this first light shone for 36 hours. Shtem Asara Shel Erev Shabbat. So 12 hours on Erev Shabbat, which is from sun up on Friday morning to what would be sundown on Friday morning, right? So that's 12 hours. We've had this before as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yes. Um, we know that the, uh, an hour in in the rabbinic mind is is the twelfth of, the day. A 12th of, uh, of the either daylight. the sun up or the the moon down yeah. or, the, mm. or, or the sun down, but it, it, exactly the same. Um, sorry, but the the rabbinic hours are not the same, right? Um, every day. Shabbat, also twelve hours of Friday night where the sun stays up. Shabbat, and twelve hours during the day on Saturday. That when uh, Adam and Rishon sinned, God wanted to hide away part of the honor for Shabbat. Because it says that God blessed the Sabbath day. What did God bless the Sabbath day with? That when uh, uh, when the sun started to set on Friday night, and the light continued to pour forth, even though the sun has set, physics is uh, be damned. Everybody started Makala Sin to God. Everybody started saying, Go, God, go, God, you're capable of making it light when the sun is down. Hadahutia. Who's everybody? Uh Kolhabriya. All of creation. Uh as it says in Job, Tachat Kolashamaim Yish Rehu. So I've given you this one, I think. Isaac Job thirty seven. Right? Um He sends forth light under all the heavens. Square brackets, even in the absence of the sun. I think that you know that 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 God is directly bringing this light forth. Mipnei ma vo'ora al kana fort ha'aretz. How does he do it? The light goes on the wings of the earth, on the pinions. Sometimes I guess that's a, that's my favourite translation of uh, kana. Um, and here is you know is the end of the like, the point is that God's doing it directly, not through. Not through um, uh, the sun. Hiriro toha ora kol hayom, and the light illuminated uh, all the day, v'chol halayla, and all the night. Kivan shka chama b'motzei Shabbat, but when uh, when the sun started setting on Saturday night, hit chila choshech mishmash mishmash meshet. The, the the darkness started to be uh, to be used started to be uh, in play. Va oto sha'a nitya ra Adam harishon and in that moment we've seen this slightly before, Adam was feared. I mean, um, none of this could refer to our own idea of physical light. Right, it, it's suggesting that there is a kind of this, light which is, is non sun. This is a mystical light. This is yes, because it can't refer to. Uh, our own physical light. Yes, it's yeah. suggesting there is a source of light yeah. that shines out over the earth, which is not coming from mm. uh, the sun. Mm. I mean, I have one of those as well. It's called a bulb, but you know, right? it's, a, it's, a, it's kind of you know, it is it is about power to control yeah. to control um, to control your uh, your environment. So it goes dark, and uh, Adam Rishon says, "Amar Shema Atosha Katuv, but maybe the one about whom it is said." Who you shfucha rosh va'atat shufeno ekev, right? You will sorry. It will. Uh, or you will step sorry. On you will stand right. You will stand on his head. Yeah. Who you shfucha rosh va'atat shufeno ekev. He will bite your. He ankles. will bite your ankle. Maybe the shuf, the shuf uh, is coming to get you. Balehista vegli, right? This is this is usually. I mean, the shot of this is that the thing that comes to bite your ankle and you will tread in its head. What is that? It's, 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 it's the serpent, right? However, <clears throat> in Tehillim, we get this other verse that says, "Va'amar ach choshech yushufeni," that choshech shufs, right? So, what's the thing that is coming to bite me around the ankle? The, the darkness, right? It's getting dark, and the darkness is going to get to bite me on the ankle. Amar, why? 
Masalo, what did Adam do in this terrified state, feared of the dark? And I think you know, you, it's so helpful to think of this in a pre-electricity environment, right? You know, the, the, the darkness is scary. And if you've never seen darkness before, you know, there's sort of stories of, of people kind of encountering, um, you know, uh, eclipses. You know, I mean, it's a, it must have been genuinely, completely terrifying. Masalo, Kodesh Baruch what did God do? Zimen lo shnei ra'afim. God invited or God arranged for him to take two ra'afim. I've given you the ja- the, uh, the jastro bonus on a raf. And um, it comes from the verb to press or to flatten. Um, but it's a flint. Mm. Ah. And here is our jastro bonus. There it is. Genesis rubber. Um, God made him, right, that's translating zimen as made, find two flints which he struck against each other. And what do you know, right, in the darkness. And he hit them one against the other. And out came the light. What does he say? Sorry, but not what does he say? Uh, when do we do this? Let's, let's, let's do this now. Right, so he, he blesses on the light. What's the blessing on the light? Blessed be the, 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 the light of the flame. Right, so this is no longer that mystical light. It's not the sunlight. It is the light of flame which I have made by banging together uh, my refaim. So you know, so, so really, the whole Havdalah service is being kind of bound in to this sort of experience of Adam on the Saturday night, experiencing the darkness for the first time, and his first, um, you know, just just before he gets thrown out of the Garden of Eden. And so, so in some ways, the Havdalah service reminds us of how lovely it was to be in the Garden of Eden. Even as we're just about to be thrown out of it, so it's quite a, it's quite a beautiful, um, quite it's quite a, a beautiful idea. And how, does, how does Rabbi Yossi talk with all this lovely midrash? And he's the one that said, "No, you, you're nonsense. Uh, Adam was, uh, all the light down. went out on on Arab oh, Shabbat, and that was Arab it." Shabbat. So I mean, when you light the candles on Shabbat, in the, in that sense, are you also bringing in the light? Yeah, yeah, you're bringing perpetuating the memory of, of 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 Eden. Yeah, that where it was bright on Saturday. Yeah. I mean, you know, I mean, let's. Yeah. You know, there's some really interesting um, disputes about uh, the order in which you do the, the, the blessings on Havdalah, which are predicated on the basis of whether or not you've got enough candle to have burnt through from Friday night to Saturday night, or your candle will have gone out. So if you were to light candles on Friday night, that's quite a statement. You know, if you're living in an entirely kind of subsistence level, uh, you don't light candles every day. I mean, you know, it gets dark and you go to bed. So, um, I mean, it's... It, 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 to, to sort of feel the the realia of this kind of re, you know pre technological time, so I think really really important to kind of fi, you know feel your way inside a, a midrash like this. How do how do I know that that Adam you know bashed the flints together on, on that first Saturday night, as it says in the continuation of this very same verse from uh, Psalms, Velila and at night, or is my ade. Brilliant read. Absolutely brilliant read. Yeah, uh, uh, the, 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 at night, you know, the light is my pleasure, but, but really here it's kind of meaning the light is my experience of, 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 of Eden. Jarek, you're looking thoughtful. Yeah, yeah. It's witness, isn't it? Aid. No, no aid. Aid, 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 aid is witness. Aid. Aiden is, aid. Um, as is, aid. Um, is pleasure. All right, let's the tag. You're, you're, you're back on. Okay, at your car, he the tani, the way the way Rabbi Ishmael. So this is what has taught the um, house of um, Rabbi Ishmael. Good. Mit ne ma mevorchen aha or b'motzei Shabbat. Why do we make a blessing? Or not? Or well, or how? I guess. Mm-hmm. Bore more ha eish. That we say the blessing bore more ha eish. Uh, created the light of the fire, Mipne Shehut Chilat Priyato, because this, according to this midrash, that's when fire began. Basically, Good. this is the Prometheus myth, mm. right? The the the, <clears throat> the 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 beginning of flame fire is Moshe um, Shabbat. Mm. You didn't need flame fire before um, before uh, Shabbat. Because there was this sort of amazing light, and uh, I don't know if you needed to cook, but you know. But presumably, before the first five days, there must have been darkness as well. 
Right. Not yeah. Very young, very alive. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, Rav Huna b'shem Rabbi Ivo b'shem Rabbi Yochanan Amar. Uh, these rabbis said, "After Motze Yom Hakipurim, Mavarchin Alav." This is this is a little so this is a little bit of halacha, right? Yeah. So on a normal Shabbos we bless Bere Morei Ha'esh. On Yom Tov we, we do not yeah. bless Bere Morei Ha'esh. Why not? Because light was not created after Yom Tov. Good, 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 good. But also, what are you allowed to do on Yom Tov that you're not allowed to do on Shabbos? Carrot, 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 carrot. Like light, carrot. light, light, light. Right. Yeah. So you don't have this kind of return <clears throat> into the world of light because. You've been, you know, moving, you know, you've, you've lit the thing, you've dropped, the, you know, put it over here, put it over there. So mm-hmm. it's not the big radical thing that it is on, um, on, on Shabbat. Matzah Shabbat. But of course, that, so I mean, the, the halacha on that is that that's connected to Mipnei uh, Ochel Nefesh, right? So on Yom Tov, you're allowed to do, it says it's just like a Shabbos, apart from things that you need to do in order to Ochel Nefesh, to have nice food. So that's why you're allowed to cook on Yom Tov. So if you can cook on Yom Tov, you can use flame. If you can use flame, you don't need to go bore more ha- 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 at the end of flame. because you've had flame kind of a, you know at work mm-hmm. quite literally um, all the way through Yontov. So here we're now going to get the, that sort of just flushed out in the context of a slightly more regadic um, uh, approach. But but it, that's that's the that's the background. But you do so you do bless bore more ha- 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 on Yom Kippur. <laughs> As a, as a Shabbat, presumably. That's the verb, right? Because because light has Shabbated, uh, has Shabbated all, all that day. Why? Because they didn't have to cook. Because you don't have to cook. You don't have to cook. Good. Rabbi Berechia b'shem Rabbi Shmuel Amar, af al pi shenevu'u hadvarim al miliatan, kevan shechata adam harishon nivkalalu. So this is now talking about that first Toledos, right? That with, with the, the Ketiv Chaser and the Ketiv Maleh. Oh, we're back to the top. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you thought we'd forgotten about it. No. They are. I mean, it is going to be. It's you know, it's one of those midrashim where they tie it up beautifully. Mm-hmm. It's just to just to you know mark your card, as it were. Right. Okay, so even though these six things presumably mm-hmm. were um, were Malay, that's why Toldot was written with the extra. Good, 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 good. Kevan shechata adam harishon nid kalalu. And uh, so these six things, all the other words of Toldot are written without the second vav, so the, the, because of the sin of, of Adam HaRishon, and they're not going to appear until the time when we're told that uh, King David is going to come in the Book of Ruth. So all the, to- all the generations <clears throat> from the sin of Adam up to the coming of the Messiah, there is, there is no ziv, there is no koma, there is no um, chaya, there is, you know, there is the, the earth is cursed, you have to work the earth, and the morot, uh, you know, the, the, the sun goes down and you are in darkness. But when you get to the messianic age, back come these six things. So it's not really talking about David, it's talking about been some descendant of David who will be the Messiah, or is he talking actually about King David? It's a, it, I mean, it's a good question, and I think I would have thought he's talking about the Messiah. He's, he's clearly talking about the Messiah, um, although the Peshat it doesn't quite handle it. But it's just I'm, I'm prepared <clears throat> to give them quite a lot of slack here because I think this is. By the way, you know, just 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 to remind ourselves, this is a very long midrash, mm. and it's a much longer sustained um, piece of text than, than, than we would normally than we would <clears throat> normally find um, yeah so, so the Vav that's missing only reappears when we're I talking mean, about I, think, I wonder how many times the word Toledot appears in the Torah oh, lots. I mean maybe 30, 40 you know and you get all the way through Genesis and then you get all the way through some of the you know the Chronicles and all of this kind of stuff but um, so, when, so when the Messiah comes the, the Torah will be the Sefer Torah will be Apostle won't it because it will is it written the wrong? No, 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 because it will be a historical record of the one good generation at the beginning, mm-hmm. or rather the one day of the good generation at the beginning, followed by the good generations right at the end, and every other generation in the, in the middle would be would be Chaseva. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. 
Shinema Ela Todot Parets Malay, written in complete with the second Vav, Bishvil Sheshet Tavarim Sheyachzuru, or because of the six things which will come back, and he repeats the Ela Hain, Zivo, the Luster, Chayav, Komato, the Height, Perot, Aretz, Perot, Elon, Uma Orot. So now he's going to go through the same thing again. Yep. <laughs> so how do we know well, they're going to come back? Now, exactly. Right? Exactly. So these are all these. So what we're looking <clears throat> for are redemptive, future orientated promises of return of this kind of stuff. So let's 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 see how they do. And you know, just again, just the, the the way in which these guys can work Tanakh is just just extraordinary. Yeah. But you, one does have to question whether. They believed all this, or they, they I, 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 don't, I mean, you know what? I don't think you do. I think the jury can mm -hmm. can return with its verdict. You know, I I, I think mm. there is absolutely no claim being made for a uh, historistic, mm. you know, chance. I think that they are what they're doing is 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 because they do believe in redemptiveness. They will create a they want midrash, to find a which, for yeah, no, it's not they want to find evidence. They will play with verses in such a way to allow the idea of redemptiveness to feel more real. Um, but 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 it, it, it's a training. It's I mean, I mean you can you can you can imagine what's happening. They're sitting down in the bet midrash, and somebody goes, "Who's got a good verse that that the comma comes back?" Uh, you know, and you can almost feel it. You know, as they sort of sit there, kind of rifling through their. Uh, mm -hmm. You know their their mental reflexes just to sort of just to sort of play with this. That's what they're doing. It's called it's called um, charuza. It's called threading. Um, you know it's uh, it's the, the the phrase that you use for when you put beads onto a necklace. But here they're connecting the one thing to the other thing to the other thing. You know they're connecting a verse on the fall of the X to the reverse on the redemption of the Y. You know and that's the that's that is how they work Torah. It's all in the mind. They didn't have any books to look at. Didn't it's all law. It's all in the law. Yeah. Well, like the more f the more felicity you have with the Torah, the more felicity you have with the Torah. I mean, my 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 all time favorite midrash, my, my, my all time favorite Rashi, is on the opening of the Book of Psalms. Torah uh, Adonai Chetzo, of Torah to Yehege Yomam Velayla, that the Torah of God is His delight, and in His Torah He immerses Himself day and night. Right, the Rashi is, who's the second he? Let me do this again. The Torah of God is his delight. And in his Torah, he immerses himself day and night. Whose Torah? Says Rashi. Tchilat, um, Nikre Torah Tashem. In the beginning, it's called the Torah of God. Right, Torah Tazonai Chetso. Aval Misha Amalba, a person who works on it, Nikre Torah Shelo. It's called their Torah. In other words, what they're doing is they're taking ownership of the Torah. They are, they are, you know, they are, literally, they are figuratively um, taking ownership of, they are figuratively standing again at Sinai. And they are doing new, right, they are making the Torah a kind of a, rev you know, a personal revelatory experience. Uh, yeah, to, to what end? Because the, at the heart of it is, is Lester's question, do they really believe it? On some level, do they believe that this is... Telling them a the truth. Yeah, but, but, yeah, but it's, it's their it's the way they it's their Torah. Yeah, but yeah, but it could be, I can master a Dickens and, and inside out and know the stories backwards and forwards. Doesn't make that belief true. I, yeah. I'm still conscious I'm yeah, dealing with a story. Right, 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 right. I mean, I think they do believe. Right. Um, yeah. It's Chaim here the Machazi Kimbar. Right. right. So, you know, I mean, I think well, they, they, they the do truth. believe that the source yeah. of their life comes in that way. But I don't. But but I think they are self conscious as to their. Um, their playfulness. I'm sure of it. I mean, I, I, I think it's impossible to read, you know, a lot of midrash and, and welcome. You are, you know, you are, you are entering the the family of people who have read, you know, a considerable amount of midrash and not feel that it is. Um, and I don't use this word demeaningly at all. Again, you know, I use uh, when I say it's a game. I use the word in terms of this. Um, there's a uh, this is quite a famous anthropological idea of Homo lud ludens. That, that, you know, what happened to humanity that, that lifted us above the apes, we started playing games. And it was our ability to kind of play 
games that, that taught us delayed gratification, tool use, you know, and, and social communication, and you know, and all the, and the game playing is an unbelievably important part of human development. And I think that the, this is kind of Ishludens, right? This is Rabbi as game player, and as you play, you be just deep in this, and you and you you you. you you become more and more capable of working within a system. I mean, the same, the same, art, similar argument to the Talmud. I mean, a lot of it is theoretical. Uh, it's not practical. It's no, it's no, obviously, once you've lost the temple, it's not practical. It's uh, theoretical. I mean, it's so interesting. I would absolutely agree with you, but, mm. I'm, and, and here I'm going to disagree with myself. You know, so my brother is, my brother is in town. I was, uh, my brother is a, a Haredi yeshiva in Jerusalem. He, he literally believes that there is no single flaw anywhere in the entire Talmudic rabbinic process and that, that, that when the rabbis are um, doing this kind of stuff, they are simply elucidating the purity of the diamond that lies within. You know, it might look like there's a disagreement between the X and the Y and the Z, but if you read the A and the B against the X, you pull the Y into the over the other place, you remove all of that and you release, you, you know, and, 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 and I mean, he has a, he has a literal belief which I neither accept nor believe is is correct in is is a true inheritance of of the the rabbinic journey as I understand it. But that's a theory that, that I mean you know, and and, and I, I mean maybe maybe the best answer Lester, to your question did they really believe is yesh for yesh, mm-hmm. right that there were people who really were literalists and there were people who weren't bothered by the question of literalism, and got on with it. I I. I, I, I Certainly, uh, uh, I think this issue of the game is very important as in human development. I think those of us who've had kids remember the first time that a child at around two you could actually play a game with them. They could actually realize that you were you were hiding, but you weren't really hiding. You know, and it, it's it, it's something which develops as as a child gets older and then also then in a religion as well you can see the game is a, you don't use it in a pejorative way that they're playing it's it's an important part of it's really it's about love you know it's about i mean you, know, you, you play games because you like to be with people you know you, you want to be closer to them so i think that those kinds of things that's that's what they're really trying to do le karev right to come close yeah. And I think there are, but I think there are, and, and, but they are also after some other truths, right? This idea of redemption. I think they are definitely interested in that. It's not. It's not just the game. This is this is where we differ from artificial intelligence. This couldn't be. This couldn't be reduced by a, a robot fed with artificial artificial intelligence. Now, you there's know? a very good question. <laughs> there's a very very good question. Um, uh, my friend and colleague uh, Rabbi David Myers Feinstein. Uh, now Rabbi Deborah Khan Harris wrote her PhD on modern midrash and talking about whether you know forget artificial intelligence just you know a human twenty first century intelligence you know, can you can you pull off this kind of stuff you know she was sort of I, I, I think on this kind of material on Genesis as well. Hmm. Okay, so he's asking you know where where's the evidence of the redemption? Yep. So let's start okay. with the zivo. Yeah. Zivo Menaya. How do we know that there's going to be a return of this luster? I don't know the quote. What is it's, it's, on your, it's on your sheet. This is after one of the judges. I see the end. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. The man had right, so, 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 right. See, Kenya, we'd call Oyovecha Hashem. So once all your enemies are gone. Is this the God, song of Devorah, maybe? I don't know. I don't, I don't, know. No, I don't know. I don't know. No, much too early. Um, once all your enemies are gone, square brackets, we are now in redemptive time period, right? Mm. So this is, you know, um, the day that love him will be as the sun that goes forth in his might, right? Lo- the, 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 a human being will look like the sun. When all the enemies are gone, we, you know, if you were to look at us, we would look shiny. Mm. We would have Ziv, um, Lost her. Chayav Minai, how do we know that I guess everlasting life will mm-hmm, come back? Ki ki meha eitz yeme ami. So my my people will live as long as trees. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> oh Where's dear. Where's that come from? Isaiah 65. Isaiah. Um, <clears throat> uh, it, right, the, for as the days of a tree shall be the days of my people. Ki 
Kimeha eight Yamea me. Tani Vabishimon ben Yochai Omer, N eight Ella Tova. Ah. So it's a big, big, by the way, big square bracket. This is a whole, this is a whole kind of little uh, sub sub tracking. They, they're they're getting they're getting all excited about the appearance of the word eights. Hechmadat amar eights chayim hi lamachazikim ba. Oh, sorry, I've just got this now. Sorry, I, I couldn't get this. When I just went through this earlier. Um, when it says eights, it always means Torah, and it means Torah, but. In the redemptive period, when everybody's doing Torah, what does eights mean? Eights, chaim he. Eights oh. is life. <laughs> so, you know, when, when we're in the redemptive period, if anybody says you should be like a tree, it means you, have it means you, should, be, you should have life. How do we know no. Lord Height is going to come back? Gerald, just shut your ears for three minutes. It's like, this is, you're not going to enjoy this. I'm sorry. <laughs> Um, I guided you as a page, by the way, forever. Uh, right. So uh, this, this, by oh. the way, this is a great. This is a really, really great verse, and it's from Vayikra, which is impressive. You know. Oh, so come and meet. They're translating that as upright. Yeah. This is right. So, so but, but, but let's just locate ourselves in time. Right. Mm-hmm. Miyot lehem avadim, right? You so, will be from. Uh, you, you, I brought you out of Egypt, and uh, so that you will serve me. matot alechem. Now we need to read this into the future. I mean, the verses, tenses in in, in Hebrew are, are are fairly slippery things. Um, and I will break the yokes of oppression upon you. In other words, in the redemptive time period. And I will make you go with coma. I will make you go um, upright. Although the chart is in the past tense. Well, it's very difficult with a vav ham hapechet. It's, it's very, very difficult, right? So that's the point. You know, there's, there's, so they're taking just, advantage of that. They're taking advantage <laughs> of that. Well, also, I think they're saying, I think, you know, and, 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 and I think we're allowed to make a comment like this. Here is this poor rabbi under Roman oppression going, well, the bars of my yoke are not, uh, are not broken. Mm. You know, I am not standing upright. So this verse has to mean some point in the future. And the Tani Rabbi Chia B'Koma Zekufa V'lo Yireyim M'Kol B'Riya So, in trying to explain this word "koma I suppose. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, 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 the, uh, at the moment, we are in a a, a, a vertical posture of bent overness, <clears throat> slightly, a slightly zakuf. uneasy, mm. right? Yeah, our, our, our coma is zakuf. It's so zakuf that we can't see everything. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but in the future, in the future, how tall are we going to get? Right, so Rabbi Yudan on that. Oh, that's good. Oh, but I thought Adam Harishon got reduced to 100. Yeah, so at least we're, you know, we're not there we're yet. But we'll, 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 get, we'll, yeah, we'll, 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 we'll get stood up to 100, 100 Amar. So, we'll, okay, so that's what, 50 feet? Well, the important one to remember is 100. Yeah, oh, okay. Rabbi Shimon Amar, Matai Amar. Ah! Right, because you've got to go back to taller. That's exactly the point, Lester, that you were making. Yeah. Right, back to one hundred amar. No big, not a big deal. Does not does not he, take you back to the to the tikkun. It's not before he was sinned, because he was even bigger then. He got yes. reduced to a hundred amar. Yes, good. Amar Rabbi Elazar bar Rabbi Shimon Amar Shlosh Meot. Did tell you we're gonna like this. It's a bit like the um, the number of plagues in the uh, in the Haggadah, right? Uh, okay, but let's do some maths. Kom mea, I guess. Yeah. He's split the word comma comma mute into kuf. I think this is. I think I, I I'd quite like to have a look at this in um, manuscript variation, because what, in Gematria, what number is kuf? Hundred. Ah, right. So yud is ten. Kuf is a hundred. So the kum is a hundred, and mute. I'm gonna. I'm gonna imagine. I mean, I'm, I'm gonna imagine that it says kuf chupchik, and then mute. That is two lots of mea. <laughs> you, you, you or I might think that 200 is my time, but mayor in the plural 
and mare is 100, so mare in the plural is therefore 200. So that you've got a cuff of 100, so 300. And, and, and two lots of... Uh, so we're two not going to stop here. No. <clears throat> Rabbi Abahu Omer Tashameot. Oh, okay. 900. Amar. You think it's been bad so far? This one is just <laughs> Rabbi shocking. Rabbi Berechia B'Shem Rabbi Dosa Omar Taima the Rabbi Abahu Mehacha. The reason is for this quote from Isaiah, Ki Chimeha Eitz Yimei Ami. We had that verse before, yeah. right? So the... Um, the the like the life of a tree shall be the life of my people. So how long how long are we going to live for? We're going to live for the same period as the shikmar, as the um, sycamore, sycamore, uh, sycamore. One of these one of these trees. This tree that lasts for six hundred years. Ah, okay. Not only are you going to last as long as a tree this particular tree that lasts for 600 years, but you will grow at the pace of this tree, which grows the same thing every year, right? The trees just keep growing and growing and growing and growing and growing. So how how how, how tall were you at the beginning? And then we're then going to multiply that. 300 plus the 600. No, we're going to multiply how tall you were at the beginning by 600 years of continual growing by that amount. Does that make sense? No. So you're going to grow like a tree. <laughs> no, no, well, you, you, you may have eight, you may have me, uh, yeah, you may have me right? Like, yeah. a, you're going to grow like a tree. But he's trying to prove 900. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to help, trust me. It's, uh, <laughs> uh, right, you, you are going to grow for 600 times your your annual unit of growth. That's that's how, right? And it is going to add up to 900. But let's, let's so now let's, now let's go back inside. Um... Right. And the child leaves his mother's womb. Ba'ama. Guduma. Guduma. With one and a half ama. Or, or an ama and a bit. Guduma is a difficult word to translate. I spent a little bit of time looking at it. There is, Gerald, a rather long footnote in there for you. That you can um, you can have a look at. Nobody quite knows what to do at this point. But like you, you you're born uh, an Amar Duma, uh, right? Yeah. Gaduma, right? Uh, an, an, um, yeah, and foot and a half. Yeah. Tzeva Chashuv Amar v'Mechitza b'Chol Shana. So he he continues to grow by one and a half Amar every year. Well, I like this. Tzeva Chashuv. Go go forth and calculate one and a half Amar for every year of a six hundred. Yeah, yeah, that was 900. Life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, no, it's 900. <laughs> As they say, Baruch Hashem. <laughs> um, in the Tanakh, one of the Babites called them prophets. Yeremiah said, once the Etzel time is over, and then the Judah, the Judah is joined the Israelites, and the two have come together. When anybody dies at the age of 100, everybody will say, you are too young, yeah, you yeah. are a baby. Yeah, right. Yeah, so that right. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. Very nice, very nice. You could you could easily have dropped that one in here. That would have okay. been, that would have worked well. Anyhow, but... so that proves that it gives you your one and a half times 600 is 900 armor. Yep. Perot ha'aretz perot ha'ilon. What about the vegetables and the fruit, menayin? Yep. Where, do, where do we know that those are all going to be uh, reinstated, Shneemar and now Zechariah, Kizera Hashalom Hagefen Titen Piriya. Right, the Zera of Shalom. In other words, in the redemptive messianic peaceful time at the end of days. Right, so we're 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 off into the future. So it is it is that kind of verse, and it will give her increase, and it will just get great. Right, it won't be difficult to farm anymore. Hmm. And then our last one. Finally, Maorot Minayan Shinemar Vahaya or Halavana or Hachama. Again, that was a messianic idea that the light of the moon will be as bright as the sun. It'll be bright always. Um, I have to say, it's quite, it's a huge midrash, and I quite like it. I, I, I think it, it involves some absolutely terrific close reading of the Torah, and I think that the general idea is, is, is very beautiful, and I don't, <coughs> I don't struggle with it. But that might be because I'm halfway out the door on holiday.
Um, so confirming, we're not here next week, um, but uh, we will be here the week after. I mean, all these Midrashim were written under a period of tremendous oppression by the Romans. Mm-hmm. Uh, and what really? they, so 